Hey, this is Brandon, and today we're going to be going over how to use the brand new Advanced Excerpt plugin with the Super Skeleton family of themes. We're going to be using the Reason theme specifically with this, but this tutorial will work for all of the different Super Skeleton themes. What we want to answer today is a lot of the different questions that have been coming in about how to customize this little excerpt that WordPress kicks out on your blog templates. Uh, the way it works right now, very simply, is that WordPress automatically strips out all of your tags. So if you guys want a link or an image or anything else in here, WordPress automatically knocks it out. So you, even if you guys have it over on the full post page, for instance, let's see how we have this image right here. You may want it to show up on the preview page, but WordPress is killing it. That's not necessarily good, so I'm going to show you guys a very quick and easy way to get around that. Let's head into your dashboard, and I'm going to have you guys go down to the plugins add new panel and we're going to search for the advanced excerpt plugin it should be the first one that pops up right here you guys can read about it i'm just going to hit install now we'll hit activate and then what this plugin does, uh, it's not even going to be on the post pages or anything like that. It's going to add this new panel under settings and we're going to go to excerpt. So this is a brand new page that was added by this plugin. And the first thing that I want you guys to know is that it basically just extends your ability to customize all the different stuff on that post to excerpt. So for instance, if you guys wanted to adjust the length of it, you could do it through this. If you guys wanted to adjust, like, you know, whether it ends on a word or a sentence, you can do it from there. You can adjust the read more link that shows up at the end. Uh, and you can do lots of different stuff. For our purposes today, we're going to make sure this remove shortcodes is off. We're going to make sure it does not remove any markup. And we're going to select a couple tags because this is going to tell WordPress, do not strip these tags from the excerpt. So if you guys know anything about HTML, the A tag is what's used for links. So we'll pick that one. If the image tag is what's used for images, naturally. We're going to keep the div tag in there in case we're using any custom layouts or anything like that that we want to retain. The B is for bold. The P is for paragraph. Uh, you guys can read more about all the different HTML elements that are out there, uh, but that's what we're going to pick for right now. And we're going to hit save. And as we had this old excerpt, it, it was just kind of showing off, you know, none of our formatting. We're going to go ahead and hit refresh now. And now we should see that within our excerpt, we now have an image, we now have a link, we have some bold text and some italic text, and now it has our custom read the rest tag at the end. One more, you know, thing that I kind of want to show you guys is we're going to go back into that post. There it is right there. And a lot of you guys have been asking about, you know, say we set on the excerpt plugin, uh, you know, we, we want it to cut off at 200 words, but I only want this one post to cut off right here. We're going to use the WordPress more tag right here. When you guys want to insert it, you put it right there. Uh, you guys can always select it and delete it. So for instance, in the last preview, I, I just showed you guys we're using it and it cuts off where we told it to. But if we remove that element, hit update, we're going to see that that excerpt should get longer in line with what we told it to in the settings panel. So you guys can now see that now we have a new paragraph that's, uh, that's displaying. So if you guys go down, you'll see that, you know, all the different posts now show that same level uh, of content that we told it to. The very final thing that I want to show you guys is about videos. We've been getting a lot of questions about how we can add videos into the excerpt the same way that we just did an image right here. It's a little bit tricky in the sense that you're going to need to know one special thing when we go into this excerpt panel. And the main thing I want you guys to understand is that whenever you embed a video into an HTML document or a web page or anything you want to call it, it's going to be embedded inside what's called an iframe element. So what we're going to do is we're going to select that from the more tags because it's not on this list right here. We're going to hit add and then we're going to hit save. And again, what that tells WordPress to do is if it finds an iframe, do not strip it from our post excerpt. So let's go back in, and if you guys saw our last video on how to add videos to your posts, you'll remember how this works. And we'll go ahead and get rid of that image for the demo right here. We're going to go into our new Ultimate Shortcodes plugin. We're going to scroll down to Media, 
It's going to ask us for a URL, so I'm just going to go over to Vimeo and grab a quick video. We'll copy the URL. We're going to paste it in here. And we're going to set the value for the width to be 100% so it's flexible. And again, we went over all this in the short codes video, so if you guys haven't seen that, go ahead and check it out. And we'll hit insert. And what I want you guys to know is this inserts a short code that you can see within the panel, but when you hit update and you go and look at the post, it's actually going to be inserting an iframe with the video inside of it. And voila, there we go. That's all there is to it. There's clearly a lot of other stuff that you guys can do from the settings excerpt panel. You guys are welcome to use this new feature. You're welcome to not use it. It's totally up to you guys. But this should give a lot of the users that want a little bit more advanced control over that, everything that you guys have been asking for. So thanks a lot. I'm Brandon, and I hope you guys enjoy using the themes.